Okay, on this video, what on this video what we're going to do is create our section view drawing, and this is going to be a very time-consuming process. So let's get going. So we're going to go back to our shed floor plan, and we're going to or this could be found in the annotate tab. And what they have done, we have. This Starts on the outside and goes in. So let's do that. What it does is it creates a cut in your wall. And this is what we're going to view this little box. And I don't want to see this window. I just want to see the wall construction. So I'm going to pull this back. And so when we created this section, we come down. First of all, let's rename this to. Thing we're going to do, we're going to crop the view. The answer of what our scale is right here, it's a one half inch scale. So we could come to this, we could change it to that one half. We could pull it. Let's pull it out a little bit. One thing we're missing is our detail. Where's the beef? So let's click on our fine detail level. And now we could get started. Now we have some manipulating and some items into here because, you know, where is our gold plate? Where is our double top plate? Where is our cutout? Where is our... Uh, we're going to have to do first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the annotate tab. We're going to go to component. Now you cannot do this in the architecture. It's got to be in the annotate component. We're going to load family. Again, if I need to back out of the title blocks, the quickest way is there. This time we're going to come down to detail items and we're going to plastic wood framing. We're looking for some section cut lumbers and we're going to go for a two by six. Okay. Base bar rotates. So what I do is I put this in and I use the align. To the bottom. Notice where I clicked first. I align, I click on what I'm aligning to and then the P lock it. So this. Right, great, now we need that anchor bolt. So again, component, load family. Let's back out of this folder. All right, we're going to go to middle. See these folders in my sleep. Anchor bolt in, except this time we're going to use a half inch. Not align it to anything just yet because it's easy. Doesn't like that. So this one we're just gonna snap in place manually. And then we're going to come up here. So now we have some manipulating to do because if we were to look at our detail of oh, of our roof, a little tiny cutout right here so it would sit on the double top plate. So let's do that. So we're going to come to the annotate tab. We're going to go to the line. Now this is important. We're going to switch it to a medium line, which is our thick line. All right, because look. See how we have our studs are these lines and so right on that but we'll get pretty damn close. Let's go to that point. So now we have our stud wall going up. We have this cutout in the rafter that we would have. Uh, bringing this out so it would sit nice and tight on there. Now what we need to do is we need to put our detail 
components. Six, all right, let's go to one, two, because we have a double top plate and we use the align. So you're locking. Remember, corners that you cut will come back to cut you when you do this stuff. Great. All right, next thing we would have is we'd have uh, open cornices. What does that look like? So we have this open space, and we would want to have this little board going across to kind of prevent animals from going in. Since this is like a simple shed, we'll just keep it kind of basic. So. This is good for a shed. So that wood and plastic. Ooh. Action again, and this time we're gonna go for one by material. Item selected. Just to go all the way up to our plywood sheathing. So let's just align here. Show that it would, you know, pretty much go to the underside of that sheathing so that no animals could get into our shed because you're going to see in a second we're going to put some insulation in the shed for whatever reason. So again, annotate. Let's put a detail line here now because we're going to need to do this fascia board. All right, the fascia board closes off so here's the fascia board going across. We have the raptors going across on the shed. You can see the freeze board in there to close off these. Uh, animals can't get in, so we just need to put a, a, a finished fascia board on there just to kind of close it off. So to do that, we just put a line going down. All right, this be one by material. So for the one by material, we know that it is three quarter of an inch. Click it. Make it 0.7 inches. All right. Off. Click the dimension, lock it, delete it. Hit OK. All right. We don't care. Keep the constraint, please. We can pull this there. Pull this. Is on there. So we'd make our X's. And for the X's, this X needs to be a, a thin line. Turning in his grave. All right, last thing we would need to do for this is we would need to put our bad insulation. All right, insulation, it's just the pink stuff that you would roll into this. All right. Regular lines going up. All right, that's the pink insulation that would roll into the building. And when you select insulation, it has the width. We have a five and a half inch width wall, right? Because it's two by six. So we want the center of this wall. I need to start at the bottom. Insulation just kind of makes itself as you go up. And we go all the way up to our double top plate. And then Raptors, we use two by eights, which were seven and a quarter, if you remember. I'm sure you do. It's kind of hard to get these to where you want it to go. So I just kind of freehand draw it here. And then I. As close as I can. There, and then we can always edit it down here. All right, so now what we're ready to do, let's turn off our crop region, is we're ready to start annotating our layer. Now, practically the way it has it is done incorrectly, shockingly, lined up real sloppily, and they're missing a lot of things that we are. So you just pay attention to what I do. So to do this, we're going to come to the text tool. All right, and we're going to be using, yours is going to go here. We're going to use this curve leader, and we're going to change our text to 330 seconds. And we're just going to start at the bottom. 
call it what it is. So this is four inch. Oh, I'm sorry, six inch. I forgot. We're just gonna line them up. Next thing we're gonna have, we're gonna go to our full plate. Now this is important. See how I get to this point and it locks it in. What it's doing is it lining up all our texts on that vertical line and it's going to space them out even. All right, so this is a two by six pressure tree. We went out to that shed and anywhere we have wood contact and concrete, we need to use pressure treated lumber. Next, we would show our anchor bolt. Again, you need to line it up like this. So we have a one half inch anchor bolt. is um whatever sighting you put in if you put in cedar hitting you could put that and you could see it didn't line up and so let's fix that all right I'm gonna go in and again see what you're lining it up. I'm going to go and, and label all this stuff off camera and come. Label everything and you can see what I got. Okay, what I did off camera is I labeled all of these layers. You could kind of look right here and see what I got. Pause it and make sure you got all this stuff. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our little triangle. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. They got it on our elevation over there on one of them. I'm going to put it on this right here. So what we do is we click the spot ele uh, in the spot. Go to triangle. Put it on. What we're going to do is we're going to show it as. Pretty good now. We got ours. Sheet, moment of truth. A little tight down here. So let's go to our section. Closer over here. Tight fit. Now what we do is we go in, we fill our title block, we'll put your name. Project. Rest later. 